Good morning. Welcome back to Brightside on 10 Tampa Bay. We are your hurricane headquarters. Take a look. We got a lot going on, guys. So for right now, here's what you need to know. There are two different invests, a.k.a. tropical waves. They are not tropical systems quite yet, but both with a high end chance for development into tropical systems. Then speaking about tropical systems, take a look right here. We got a couple of them going on. So let's make our way east to west. So right here you see this big red area. You're wondering, all right, Amanda, what the heck is that? I'm getting nervous. So it's just a tropical wave that's right off the west coast of Africa. This is typical for this time of year. We call it the tropical wave train. We see areas of energy that come out. They're disorganized thunderstorms and showers that do get enough spin. And that's the infancy stages of what could be our next tropical system. So that's why we got to keep a close eye on it. But this disturbance has that 70% chance for development into a tropical system over the next week. Then up next, we have tropical storm Emily. This is going to be a fish storm, but it always could impact those commutes in terms of of your Amazon packages, any that thin, anything, excuse me, that's coming overseas. That's something to keep in mind too. So it doesn't impact us here at home locally. However, could be impacting some other things as well. But that's Tropical Storm Emily, going to be another fish storm that turns right back out to sea. Then we got this little guy, Tropical Storm Gert, right here that is impacting portions of the east and uh, eastern Antilles and also Leeward Islands right here. This system though looks to weaken very quickly, not long lived. And outside of that, we have Tropical Storm Franklin. That is going to be impacting Hispaniola to anybody that has family over towards Ati or Haiti and also the Dominican Republic. We do see that that'll be impacting that area with a significant amount of rainfall. And then in the Gulf, we have another area of interest or a tropical wave that has a 70% chance for development. That'll be impacting portions of Mexico and also Texas, potentially as a tropical storm heading into the rest of this week. But for right now, Florida in no immediate threat with the tropics. I'll have more hour by hour coming up.